All right, and welcome back to another RPG developer backing video. In this one, we're going to talk about using pre-made assets. And what I have here, I didn't design this character. Um, this came in a character asset pack that I had bought. And he came with a limited amount of moves. And within this one, we're going to take those limited moves and we're going to try to expand his animation set directly in Baki. So let's take a look. Now, if you look on the side here, where it says motion sets and settings, I've already applied a few of his built-in animations that came with his package. And we'll take a look at a few of them. They're quite nice. That's, you know, that has his, his attack, damage, his knockout animation, his standing idle, his victory. He also had a T pose. And he has his overworld walking animation. Now, my point of interest is the win animation. Uh, there's quite a bit going on here. And there's a way to take that animation in Baking, and we're just going to shorten it to the points that we need. We're just going to select a few frames or a certain set of frames and we can create a whole new animation after that. So what I've done here, it's originally called Paladin Idle Long. And what we can do over here, it tells you the start and end of that animation set. And the point we're going to try and find is when he points that sword into the sky. So let's loop it right there. And we don't want the sword bashing the shield because we're going to use that for a different animation. So if we come here, we want that animation to end earlier. Currently, the full animation is from 120 to 380. He points that sword in the sky, so it's about half of that 380. Why don't we see what happens if we take it to 200? Oh, yeah, right there. <laughs> I got pretty lucky with that. All right. Perfect. So we'll leave it at 200 and we'll make this his skill animation. And this is the animation that he'll play when he's using a skill. Now we'll add another motion. So we'll go back in. We'll grab that idle long. Add an exit. Okay. Now we want the shield bash and only the shield bash. So now we see that this one ended at 200. Let's bring that in here for our start animation at 200. See what it, there we go. We need that to be a little bit shorter. So we, let's bring it to 230. Still a little bit longer. 270. Try 260. Yeah, I like that. And we'll call this skill two. You put an underscore two. And then let me see. We're missing a guard animation. Maybe we'll add it. We'll add it one more time. This is a very useful animation here. Okay. Let's see if we can get a frame where he's just holding that shield. So let's see, two sixty. And we'll bring this one really close. So we'll do 265. Loop it. No.
Let's put this up to 300. Take some tweening. So I might edit this section. All right, and there it is. And we'll use this for our guard animation. Your skill two. Let's see if we can adjust that. It was 240. 30. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so we have these animations here. And we're going to hit OK. We go to our database. Now, I already have him established, but he needs some skills. So we're going to put some skills in. We'll put this Thunder 2. And for the animation, go to Paladin. And we will select Skill. Yep, that's the one we want. Add. Perfect. And maybe for Power Boost. Let's see. Go to Paladin again. Yep. We'll add that. Excellent. Like, you know, he's getting hyped up. He's getting buffed up. All right. And what was the other one? Mm, I believe that's it. Oh, yeah. So we're going to make one more skill. So we're going to apply that. Hit OK. Go to our resources. Yep, motions. All right, so here's another trick, right? So, you, of course, we now we've already added three whole new skills or animations to our character. But if we made a copy of the copy of the attack, all right. So then we're going to select the paladin attack move. Add an exit. Okay. Now this little trick, I mean, this is a nice little attack. Let's loop it for a little while. It's a nice hefty swing in there. And out of pure curiosity, right? So we'll call this attack two. You see, we do uh, underscore two. Now of pure curiosity, um, I wondered what happened, what would happen if, if I put the numbers in backwards. Yep, 500. So we're locked at that frame. What if I made it 400 over here? Oh, he has a lifting slice, like a little poke and pull back. I was like, you know what? That isn't too bad. So we're going to save that. We'll hit OK. We'll go to our database. And I don't know, let's pick something here. I know there was something called like Assassin's Blade or something. Yeah, OK. Um, I mean, I guess that, that might work. Yeah, why not? Um, or, I don't know. Yeah, let's, let's do Poison Fang. Let's see what happens. I have no clue what that animation is going to look like, but yeah, let's just throw that on there. Right here? Yeah, we'll pick. Mm, yeah. Oh, yeah, Poison Blade. It. All right. So now, yeah, we'll apply all of that. We'll hit OK. All right, let's get into a battle and let's see how it looks. All right, he's walking. There he goes. Let's see how our attack looks. Oh, that's pretty nice. Oh, fang. oh yo, he stole my move. All right, I'm going to guard up. Nice. Oh, man, they're trying to take me out. Poison? Oh, poison and paralyze? 
Oh no. All right. Uh, go to skill. Get our power boost. Oh, pretty nice. That that looks awesome. Yep. Oh man. All right. I'm gonna go to skill. And do thunder. Thunder two. Oh, look at that. Summoning. Nice. There it is. Probably gonna die. It. Oh man. But I mean, that's the core animations, man. They look great. Um, you can do this with any kind of character you have. You know, just toy around with those animation frames, lock them in, uh, reverse them. You know, that was a lot of fun. Uh, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. I'm, I got some more boxing videos coming right for you, man. Thank you.